What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple minimap. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is go ahead and open our third person character blueprint. So we're going to go into the viewport over here and what we're going to do is add a new component into our character. So the new component is going to be a spring arm. So let me just find the spring arm over here. I'm going to add it. So it's going to be the uh, minimap spring arm. So what we're going to do is basically add a new camera, which is going to be pointing up uh, towards down into the player. Now, the, sp uh, the camera is not going to be a regular follow camera or, or game camera. It's going to be actually a different type of camera that we'll see in a second. So just add a new component and it's going to be a scene capture component 2D. So now this will be child of the spring arm. And now we can select the spring arm and just go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees over here. So it will be pointing to the player and we can slightly increase the uh, target arm length to be kind of uh, 450. So now basically this is going to be uh, like a camera, but that will basically save what is seen basically is viewport into a texture so if you go down over here uh to here texture target so now we, what we have to do is basically create a new texture target so just go here then select render target and then this is gonna be the minimap uh underscore target. okay we can you can name it whatever you want now if we open it up you will see that we are actually uh seeing what the camera is you know in this viewport so it is working correctly so now what we have to do is go over here and create a material for this so we can display it in our user interface in a widget so you select the texture target and then right click and we're gonna go ahead and create a material now i'm gonna name this um m underscore minimap etc and then we can just go ahead and open this up now what we're going to do is uh select the output node and then go into material domain and change this into user interface so we can use it in ui and then just uh, connect again the rgb into the final corner and you can see again that we have the uh, player appearing there so everything is working fine so go ahead and save everything compile and save and now all we have to do is go ahead and create the widget so just right click and go into user interface and go into widget blueprint it's going to be a normal user widget it's going to be the wp underscore uh, minimap for example let's go ahead and open this up and the first thing we have to do is in the palette find the canvas panel and just add it into the hierarchy so we can actually place things on our widget and the thing that we're going to add as it is a normal material with a texture is going to be just an image just go ahead and drag it into the corner that you want in my case i'm going to put it in this corner because normally here uh you know we have like prints appearing and notifications of Unreal, so I always like to place it just in here so, so we can see it always a bit better for the tutorial. So uh, the first thing I want to do is change the size to be around 150 and 150 in both X and Y. This is because it's exactly a square and it will just be a bit better. So, you know, position it a bit uh, correctly where you want and then what you can do is just get the anchors and just place it in the perspective corners of the image so it can later on rescale correctly uh, if we change the resolution of the screen or the S ratio, etc. And now you guess it, we have to go into the brush and change the image to be our minimap uh, material that we have just created. There we go, which is this one, I believe. Um, so now we can go ahead and compile and save. So now what we can do is just go into the third person character blueprint, go into the van graph, and then after the begin play, if you don't have the begin play, you can just right click and add the begin play node. In my case, I already have things from the template, but I can go just after and then say create widget. So the widget is going to be the class that we have just created. So, um, sorry, it was <laughs> a minimap. And then the unknown player is get player controller. And then the last thing I have to do is just go ahead and get the um, return value and just add it into the viewport so it will appear in the player's screen. So now if I were to press play, you will see that we have the minimap over there. And if I were to move, everything will just display correctly. Now we have a few things going on that I want to basically go ahead and change. First of all, you, was, you can see that the camera 
uh, changes its rotation and orients whether the mesh of the character is facing and I don't really like that I want to be always facing one direction and then the player only changing and then you can see that it is in perspective mode which basically gives a lot of depth into the camera and I don't really like that I like more flat meme uh, sorry uh, mini maps so there's a few things that we're gonna change so let's go first of all into the third per person character blueprint and we're gonna go into the spring arm and we're gonna go ahead and disable all the inherent um, camera setting. So basically no page, no yaw, no roll. Basically the rotation will just be as we want it. As you can see now, the uh, player will change its rotation, but now the camera, which is a bit more smoother. And there's another thing we want to do is go into the scene capture component and we want to change the projection type from perspective to orthographic. So now we will basically have a better viewpoint. Now you will see that it's right now the width at 512, of course you can customize it as you want, but it is a bit too close to the player, so you can just experiment by just increasing this um, this value into whatever you want. For example, uh, you can just play with this value to make it whatever you want. And, and now it's a bit more further from the camera as you can see, so yeah, you can play around with the settings. And now there's no depth into it, so it's a bit plain. And it is just much better in my opinion and you can customize it as you want now one note is that now the projection type is in orthographic so the spring arms um length will, and distance from the player will actually not really impact anything the thing that you have to change is the width now there's one more thing that i want to add it's going to be the last thing which is basically a small player indicator so i just have an arrow image over here and basically i'm going to go ahead and I'm um, just add this in my case. So we're gonna go into the uh, third person character blueprint and I'm gonna go into the mesh inside of it. I'm gonna add a sprite, which is gonna be a normal paper sprite. So now this is gonna be the, um, I like to name it the player indicator sprite. And then in the sort sprite, well, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our, let me select it, our arrow texture. Now you see that I can actually place it because it is, well, not a sprite. <laughs> so we have to basically convert this into a sprite. Uh, so in order to do this, we can just uh, select our texture, just right click, and then uh, you will see that we can go into the sprite actions and then create a sprite. And now we have our arrow sprite, as you can see. Now we can go ahead and just uh, well, apply it here into the arrow sprite. There we go. So now you can see that it's appearing there. So we have to rotate it around 90 degrees again make it way smaller i mean well this will depend on the camera's perspective and stuff so we'll play around one second and now this will be will need to be a bit uh you know, on top of the player and then uh a bit lower than the camera so we are able to see it and stuff so now if i were to press play you will see that there's actually a well the, the thing appearing on the screen on the minimap sorry now there's a few things first of all it's huge then it's trespassing the player and then we can also see it in the normal place viewport so first of all we're gonna go ahead and change the size to be way smaller and then we're gonna go ahead and put it way up so it will not be colliding with the player anymore now it's still actually colliding with the player so there's many reasons for this and it's mainly the orthographic mode so actually the orthographic mode will bring some problems and issue in rendering uh, a lot of times uh, but now the size is correctly, so that's great. Uh, actually, I'm, uh, it's going to be a bit bigger. But now what we're going to do is go into the uh, player indicator sprite. And to make it not appear in the viewport, we're going to go down uh, into rendering. We're going to go into advanced and then see um, owner not see. So basically the camera which is possessed, which is the normal controller camera, will not see it. It will only the orthographic camera which is not possessed will basically um see the the, the thing uh now it is kind of trespassing the player and this is again because of the ortho uh, orthographic mode um now you can try to change the material into another sprite material now there's a lot of them but there's some ones that will basically override um kind of the rendering uh depth into it so we can for example try, you know, try the masked one 
and see if that will resolve the issue. Yeah, there we go. It actually changed uh, the issue. So now it will be uh, uh, like overriding the rendering. So now you know. Um, so yeah, we have the, the play indicator. Now it's a bit to the back and a bit bigger. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now we have a simple minimap. Of course, you can add a border to customize this as you want and make it look a bit, you know, prettier and stuff. But there we go. If you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so check them out. And now, yes, well, I said bye bye.